Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this file, says it has too many nodes, and it does have quite a bit of nodes. But immediately from a distance, I can tell that the cat's eyes are thicker. So the lines are thicker. So what we can do, let's uh, see how big this cat is. It's 54 millimeters, so we're gonna make it 56 millimeters. And we're gonna take the Smart Fill tool and start filling in. But immediately you see a problem. So let's look at this thing under wireframe, go to view wireframe, and you can see that there's another part of a cat there, uh, almost invisible. So let's select on the cat and just nudge it over, all the parts we need. Then you can delete this part and select all the cat and nudge it back. Now we still have two sets of lines. They haven't done anything to that yet. So there's two ways you can do it. We can go to object. Well, let me just pick one object. Break curve apart. Then we can grab maybe the inside and hit delete. It just all depends on if you want a bigger or a smaller eye. Um, I find it easier, of course you're gonna get everything in small now, um, to use the Smart Fill tool. Okay, whenever you have that happen, Smart Fill doesn't work, it's because it's in wireframe. So let's fill that in with blue, that in with blue, and basically we got the cat. Now there should only be one set of lines. Now it is just a hair smaller, because it took the inside line. Now let's left click, right click. Either he or I have two sets of colors open. Now there are still quite a few nodes. So what we're gonna do, let's do one leg at a time. Let's nudge this over, grab the shape tool. See, there are 29 nodes. And what we wanna do is make a duplicate of that and move it over. And take the shape tool and select the entire thing. And let's reduce it like 20% or 20. It didn't change it too much. But look at that, there's only four nodes versus 29 nodes. Now, the reason I made a copy, let's make the copy black and let's nudge it back just to see what we did with the leg. Not really a noticeable amount of change, but you could change that if you will grab the red one and you know get your arrow keys and slightly move that back or however you want to do it. Now we move that back, let's take this leg. And the reason I nudge it out of the way is just so I won't, uh, I prefer it this way to uh, just have it out of the way. So this one's only, this one's got 25 nodes. Let's set it on 20. That's not a, I don't know if that's a percentage or not. We haven't really changed the cat too much. Now the eyes might be a little bit different. Let's see if we can't grab just the eyes. Go 20% and look real close when you hit enter. Now, it changed it up a little bit. You know, maybe it's too much. So on the eyes, whoop, you could do it manually because you kind of want that sharp uh, turn there. So like you could go here and take, delete those nodes. Add a node right there if you want that sharpness. Take these two nodes and delete them. Take that node and delete them. Maybe even that node. Then you could stretch that down. Now what I have found, the eyes are basically identical. So I would uh, prefer having, you know, maybe uh, identical instead of doing all this work twice. Just take, you know, take this eye I'm gonna have to grab it with the shape tool. Well, I made the whole thing blue. I'm trying just to get rid of that eyeball. Okay, I can't select it all, so I'm gonna have to go to object, break the curve apart. Now I can select just the eye. I'm gonna actually make this one black, control D and make a duplicate or hit the plus key on the keyboard. And then just move that one over kind of where that other eye is. 
Now I can nudge it out of the way, delete that one, go get our nudge and put it back. Same thing on the, on the nose and the mouth, uh, probably by hand. Uh, might be the easiest because when you got something pretty small. So let's try deleting these two nodes. That looks a lot better. That node's not needed. Probably those two nodes. And it's just personal preference how you like it. That looks pretty good. Now, because we've broken the curve apart, we can move the entire cat out of the way or the outside of the cat. Now we can use our 20. Let's type in 20 and just be watching the screen when you do it just to see if it changed it too much. I, the only thing I see that it made the tail quite a bit thinner right in here. Now this is, you know, this is still something you could do by hand. Or if you have X7 or above, use the smoothing tool. Maybe set it on 20. I don't know anything about millimeters. Sadly said. You see, I'm just reducing nodes. If you look look at the amount of nodes that are gone. And this is kind of kind of change. It changes it less aggressively. Now I didn't count how many nodes we started with. But look at that. Now let's take this cat. Left click, right click. See, there's that hidden hidden uh, part and there's such a little line. Uh, let's grab all this with the shape tool. So select it all with the pick tool and then hit your shape tool. There are 374 nodes. Part of that is that missing object. So to find out how many nodes to select all of them with the pick tool, six objects selected, we actually have to probably uh, can't get a total. Tell you what we can do though. We can select it all, go up to object and group them together. Now grab the shape tool, pick it first. Well, the shape tool is not going to work when it's grouped together. But there's a lot less nodes. And then he's doing the right thing. You know, he typed out the uh, text and if he wants it black like in the original, just make it black. I always take away the outline unless you want a little bit thicker. You know, black, take away the outline. That's personal preference. Then if you want, I'm pretty sure you're going to want the cat black. So just change it to black. Whoop. I got a green in there somehow. Pretty cool. And unless he's going to cut it out, uh, the nodes aren't really going to be a problem. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.